Hello everyone, you are very welcome to this very session. Um, here we are going to be looking at relative density. Okay, so um, by general definition, or will I say the first definition of relative density, is that the relative density of a substance is the density of that substance over density of water. If, for example, the density of a substance is 900 kg per meter cube, the density of water is approximately is constant, which is 1000 kg per meter cube. Okay, so it means that the relative density of this substance is going to be 900 divided by 1000, okay, which is going to be equal to 0 0.9. And your relative density has no units, it has no units. Okay, so let's see um, the question here. It says find the relative density. Of a substance whose density is 900 kilogram per meter cube I just did that now okay so the the relative density like we said is the density of the substance which is 900 over density of water which is 1000 and that is going to give us 0 0.9 so that means we say that the relative density is 0 0.9 okay now we see the second definition for relative density now and this is specifically relative density of solids now, what is relative density of solid? We say relative density of solid is the weight of the solid all over weight of equal volume of water. Another way you can call the weight of equal volume of water, you can call it the uptrust in water. You know, um, if you are here to see my video on uptrust, you can demand for it so that I can send it to you. Okay, so and um, relative density it must not be weight. It can also be mass of solid all over mass of equal volume of water. Okay, so now you can note here that weight of equal volume of water is also called what? Uptrust in water. It's also called uptrust in water. So uptrust means weight of equal volume of water. And remember, what is our definition for uptrust? Uptrust means the weight of substance in air minus the weight of substance in a liquid. Okay, so let's quickly see a question here. This says the mass of a solid sphere is 10 grams in air, okay, and 8 grams when dipped in water. Calculate the relative density of the solid. Very simple. Relative density, like we said, is the mass of the solid. What is the mass of the solid? 10. In this case, mass is given, no weight. You don't have to convert. Now, 10 divided by the uptrust in water. What is uptrust? The loss in mass. So that means 10 minus 8. That's uptrust. You subtract the weight in air minus the weight in water. Don't forget that. Okay, so that is now going to give us 10 divided by 10 minus 8 is 2, so the answer is 5. So that means the relative density of that particular solid is, is 5, okay? Um, now, that leads us to a third definition for relative density. Relative density is, um, in this case now, for a liquid. Remember, the one we treated previously is for solid. This is for liquid. Relative density of liquid is uptrust in liquid all over uptrust in water. That means to find the relative density of a liquid, you dip a solid in that liquid and you dip that same solid in water. Find the uptrust in liquid and find the uptrust in water. And um, I can also say here that this formula can be rewritten as weight in air. That means weight of substance in air minus weight of substance in liquid. Okay. All over weight of substance in air minus weight of substance in water. Okay, that is it. Weight of substance in air minus weight of substance in liquid all over weight of substance in air minus weight of substance in, in water. Okay, so now let's see an example here. So you can see it says a, a solid weighs 20 newtons in air. The weight in air is equal to 20 newtons. 17 newtons in liquid X. So let's say the weight in the liquid X is equal to 17 newtons. Then 15 newtons in water. So let's say the weight in water, um, let me use WAT, is equal to 15 newtons, okay? So we are asked to find, first of all, the relative density of the, of the solid. That should not be a problem. Relative density of the solid, remember, is the weight of the solid in air, which is 20, okay? Or let me um, write it as a formula. Um, relative density of a solid in air means the weight of the solid in air all over weight in air minus weight in water. That's the relative density of a solid. Now, what is the weight in air? 20. All over 20, weight in air is 20 minus weight in water is 15. So that will give us 20 divided by 5. 20 minus 15 is 5. And that's equal to 4. Okay, so that means the relative density is 4. 
Now, but let's see for the relative density of the liquid. The second question says we should find the relative density of the liquid. What is the formula for relative density of liquid? It is the weight in air minus the weight in the liquid all over the weight in air minus the weight in water. This is beautiful. So what is the weight in air? The weight in air is 20. The weight in the liquid is 17. All over the weight in air is 20 minus the weight in, the, in water is 15. So 20 minus 17 is 3. 20 minus 15 is 5. 3 divided by 5 gives us 0 0.6. That means the relative density of that particular substance is 0 0.6. Okay, so now the last um, definition, which is the fourth one, um, is using density bottle. So whenever you see a question where a density bottle is used, this is the formula you must use. The, the relative density is M2 minus M1 all over M3 minus M1. What is M1? M1 means the mass of empty relative density bottle. Okay? Then M2. What is M2? M2 means the mass of bottle with substance. That means the substance you want to find its relative density. Okay? The substance you want to find its relative density. Then what is M3? M3 is the mass of bottle plus water. So water now inside the bottle. So you must use this formula M2 minus M1 all over M3 minus M1. Let's see a question here. It says a density bottle weighs 20 grams when empty. Empty means that's my M1. When, the, when it is empty and that is 20 grams. Sorry, let's clean this. Okay, so M1 is equal to 20 grams. Okay, now 25 grams when filled with the substance x that is m2 that's the mass when filled with the substance and that's 25 grams okay now and 27 grams when filled with water okay so that, that's my m3 the mass when filled with water is m3 and that's how many now 27 grams this is beautiful so according to our formula relative density is equal to m2 minus m1 all over m3 minus m1 your M2 is 25, so 25 minus 20, divided by your M3 is 27, 27 minus 20, okay? This is beautiful. So this is equal to 25 minus 20 is 5, 27 minus 20 is 7, so the answer is 5 over 7. Or you can divide your calculator to get the final answer. Thank you very much. Um, I, I believe you, I want to believe you um, understand what I just thought. If you have any question. Just send it to me. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.